In the continuous time Fourier series, we have two topic. The first topic is the trigonometry form of the Fourier series, which is covered in the previous video. And the second topic is the exponential form of the Fourier series, which is going to be covered in this video. So basically, we have two formulas for exponential form. The first formula is x of t is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity c n into e raised to plus j n omega naught t. Yes, we have some components here. First is the Fourier series coefficient. Then we have the complex exponential term. Then we have the nth harmonic component. This is the fundamental frequency component. So every term is clear. So this formula is known as the synthesis equation. And the second formula, this formula is known as the analysis equation because you are using x of t. That is the reason it is known as the analysis equation. So let us see how we can find the Fourier coefficient c and the formula is 1 upon t integral 0 to t x of t into e raised to minus j n omega naught t dt. So first of all this t is known as the fundamental time period you have to do the integration the limits are 0 to t then again we have this complex exponential term but the power here is negative very important point in the first formula the power is positive in the second formula the power is negative. Let us see some question on this exponential form. This question was asked in Telecom 1999 Kate paper and it was for two marks. The Fourier series representation of an impulse train denoted by S of t is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity delta of t minus n t naught is what? We have four options among that one is correct, right? So you have to tell what is the Fourier series representation. Yes, we have learned the formula in the previous slide about the analysis equation and about the synthesis equation. So basically Fourier representation of an impulse signal basically means you have to use the synthesis equation. Then only you can say that my x of t or here s of t is there. So s of t can be represented in the Fourier form. So here we have the exponential form. Very important exponential term is present. So we have to use the exponential form of the Fourier series. They, they have not mentioned us which form we have to use either trigonometry or exponential. We figured it out by the option. So we have to use the exponential form and let us see we need omega naught. Okay, we need omega naught. What would be the value and we have to figure it out how we can fit everything in the formula. So if we use the synthesis equation of the exponential form x of t is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity c n into e raised to plus j n omega naught t. So here we need omega naught in this question right omega naught is changed version and then we need c n. If we can find these two terms we can solve the question. So if we go back to the question what we can see is clearly the t naught here is the fundamental time period first one okay and here also you can see that the value of cn is common for every option the value of cn is 1 over t naught so some things uh, uh, is common between all the options that is represented as cn right because according to the formula it is summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity cn into exponential of something so now if you look at the bracket part it is of the form j n omega naught t so you have to check which is of the form j n omega naught t here the power is negative so this is not the correct option the power is negative for the analysis equation where we are solving the integration so again option b is wrong because the power is negative option c and option d can be right because the power here is positive so now you need the omega naught value omega naught is 2 pi over t so it is 2 pi over t naught because our fundamental time period is t naught. So yes, if you look carefully at the option, clearly you can see that we need j n then omega naught is changed 2 pi upon t naught and here small t. So we need 2 in the numerator which is option d and option d is correct. Let us see the relationship between the trigonometric form of the Fourier series and the exponential form. So the first point is c naught is equal to a naught over 2 where a naught is from the trigonometry form and c naught is from the exponential form. So there is this relationship between them and the point number 2 c n is equal to half a n minus j b n and c subscript minus n is equal to 1 over 2 a n plus j b n. So what is the relationship between c n and c subscript minus n they are complex complex conjugate 
of each other very important point to note down because gate question is based on this point cn and c subscript minus n are complex conjugate of each other and uh, the exponential term is represented in terms of trigonometric form so there is uh, again this relationship between trigonometric form and exponential form where cn is related to an and pn and the point number 4 is mod cn is equal to mod c subscript minus n which is equal to root of a n square plus b n square upon 2. So let us see some gate question based on the relationship. This question was asked in telecom gate paper. It was asked in 2003 for one mark. The Fourier series expansion of real periodic signal with the fundamental frequency f0 is given by g subscript p of t is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity c n e raised to plus j 2 pi n f naught t. It is given that c subscript 3 is equal to 3 plus j phi then c subscript minus 3 is what we have for option. So this question you can solve in seconds if you know the relationship. Yes. So what is the relationship? c subscript minus n is the complex conjugate of c subscript 3. So this sign will change and you will get the answer. So what is the answer? 3 minus j phi which is option d. So this question was very simple for those students who know the concepts and the formula and the relationship. This question was based on Fourier series and also they have given us it is the exponential form of the Fourier series where Cn is present you are finding g of t and uh, this form is the complex exponential form. तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन डू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज श्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट